Well, we continue to follow a police action shooting. This is now the third shooting here in Terre Haute in just a matter of days. News 10's Brittany Earl has been following this story for you since the early morning hours, and she brings us the very latest about the suspect and the officer involved. I'm standing in the middle of Cleveland Avenue in Terre Haute. That's where the fight originally started between a couple. Quinton Towles Jr. was out here in the middle of the road. Police say he had a gun in his hand during that incident. Between that argument in the middle of the night, it started at 1 in the morning. The gun went off and a bullet ended up inside this front door of this home. At the time this fight was going on in the street, well, these two people, the man and the woman, uh, 2122 received a round through their front door, breaking the glass, penetrating the door, of course, so on and so forth, which prompted another 911 call. That's when the woman ran to this home here at 2118 Cleveland Avenue, asking the homeowners to call 911 and asking for help. Quentin Towles Jr. ran into the porch, forced his way onto the porch, and was arguing with the homeowners. That's when a police officer arrived on scene, heard the arguing, and responded. It was inside that porch where the police action started. Sergeant Joe Watson with Indiana State Police says the officer had to jump into action. So the officer uh, entered the porch area, uh, allegedly was met by the suspect who was appeared to be agitated and brandished a handgun at the Terrell police officer who was the only one here on the scene at the time. Uh, the officer told him allegedly multiple times to drop the weapon. He refused. Uh, the uh, Terrell police officer then discharged his firearm, disabling the suspect. Several hours later, and a completely different scene from when it started at 1 in the morning. The crime scene's now cleaned up, but you can see right here on the sidewalk, still blood from the crime scene. Now, uh, Quentin Towles Jr. was taken to Union Hospital and then flown to Methodist Hospital. We're told he's in serious condition. Reporting in Terre Haute, I'm Brittany Earle, News 10. Back to you. Thank you so much, Brittany.